I really need to get a better way of getting there. Oh, I could have gone just through that door. <coughs> but saved on travel time. Oh, that's what a pus eating is. <laughs> Fucking scarecrow! I want your corn! Hey, look at the size of those pumpkins. They're fucking huge, bro! Revelio. Hogsmeade, here I come. Good of you to come. My friend, Professor Fig, speaks highly of you and your resourcefulness. He was vague as to details, but mentioned your having tracked down a difficult-to-find book. I wondered if you'd be willing to do a little detective work on my behalf. Sure, why not? Of course, Mr. Ollivander. Sounds most up my street. Wonderful. You see, about a century ago, an heirloom Applewood wand with a fairy wing core went missing from this very shop. Fairy wing? My great aunt suspected a student named Richard Jackdaw. He'd been serving as an assistant here and suddenly vanished. Richard Jackdaw? Like the bird. 
In fact, he was known to frequent the Hogwarts Owlry. We searched there, of course, but found no wand. We did find a series of statues similar to Jackdaws. I'm certain they're a clue, but I cannot figure out where they lead. Jackdaw was last heard tittering about some pages with a map he'd stolen from Peeves. As you can imagine, the poltergeist was less than helpful. Well, it's Peeves. What did you expect? Why would the thief have taken the wand? I must admit I have no idea. From what I can gather, he fancied himself an adventurer of sorts, always looking for trouble. In fact, after he went missing, rumor had it his ghost was seen in Hogsmeade. Never heard much about him after that, but it seems as if his adventurous spirit may have got the better of him. Perhaps he thought that the wand had some special power simply because of its esteemed lineage. Astonishing how misunderstood the art of wand making is. Is there anything special about the wand? Oh, yes. Besides it's terribly fairy special. Lane? But not in the way you might think. It won't grant special powers to the caster, no. Nothing like that. But it will ease the hearts and minds of the Ollivanders to know of its return. And that power is immeasurable. Surely you could continue searching the Owlery? Oh, one would think. However, the Headmaster does not take kindly to an old wand-maker loitering about the place. Can't say I blame him. Also, I have perhaps been looking for too long. I feel a fresh set of eyes, and a bright mind like yours is sure to solve this riddle. I'll have a look for you. You've certainly given me plenty to go on. Ah, oh, you've brought hope to this old wand-maker's heart. Professor Fig was right. You are a remarkable student. Wait, up at the school? Oh, okay, now that makes sense why he said loitering. <clears throat> it would just be weird to, like, say that if he meant, like... Oh, that's not what I did. If he meant down in Hogsmeade, it was like, because... There's an Alry there. Why would he be worried about him loitering there? We'll see. Oh, God. Not another one of those. <clears throat> What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent. Outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class, Summoner's Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Back here. Nothing to it. At 
shield. Eh, lucky shot. Akio. Ow! Man, that All in the hurt. wrist. Idiot. Missed the mark a bit on that one. Shut up. Akio. Akio. That was one for the ages. Wait, did I win? I won. Damn it. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? Yeah. I'm game for another round. Grand. You could use the practice. Shut up. <clears throat> Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. That was one for the ages. Akio. Try to beat that. Not bad. Not bad. Akio. Nothing to it. Akio. Well done. You beat me. Bit of good luck, that's all. I'm not lucky, I'm simply better than you. All right, fine. You're right. You're better than me. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. Ah. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Rude. Leander, there's no <coughs> easy way to say this. Well, actually, there is. You're not cut out for it. Well, you could have found a harder way to say it. <laughs> but perhaps you're right. I'll let the others know you're good enough for them. Ooh, la di da Good <sighs> enough for them. Don't trip over the fucking stones now, bro. Rebellion. 
The statues Mr. Ollivander mentioned must be upstairs amongst the owls. It's an owl. What? What? Jesus Christ! There's our. Large... Don't mind me, owls. I'm just here to help a friend. Now, where are those statues? Expel the office. Oh wait, wrong spell. Accio. <clears throat> I recognize those handles. The summoning charm should do the trick. Oh, no statues here. Empty. I'd best keep looking. Nicely. Thank you. Oh, here's a welcome surprise. Thank you. I'll take that, thank you. of heights. Perhaps I should look a bit higher. Accio. Whoa, don't fall down. This'll now. do nicely. No. Oh. <sighs> I'd best keep looking. <sighs> Nothing. Thank you. I'd best keep looking. Okay, I think I got them all. Was that scream? Oh, God. Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Good news. If you've got something to hide, you found the perfect spot. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? So Mr. Ollivander was right. He wants his family wand back. Goodness, I'd forgotten about that wand. I assure you, I don't have it on me. <laughs> I'm almost certain I dropped it the moment I was beheaded in that cave. Oh, it was sheer folly to follow that map. What map? Ridiculous, really. Found it on some yellowed old pages Peeves had pilfered. Thought I could impress a girl. But that's a story for another day. So, you stole a wand and then followed a map on some pages that you took from Peeves and followed that map to your doom. Odd to hear it all reduced to such absurdity, but yes. Why do you care about some old wand? I don't really. Ollivander does. It's the pages I'm after. Might they be with the wand in the cave? Indeed. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? I'd be happy to show you where to find them. How is it possible to steal from Peeves? 
a poltergeist. I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He's got a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor, whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I doubt he even noticed they were gone. Why would you steal Mr. Ollivander's family wand? The family were always going on about how special it was, so I took it. Who could resist? Sadly, it wasn't special enough to save my neck. I fully intended to return it once I learned it was only special for sentimental reasons. But as you can see, I never got the chance. I think I can guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, <laughs> but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. <laughs> if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you there. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, the wand and the pages are yours for the taking. Revelios. doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Lumos. Lumos. Enchanted candles. Wonder where they're heading. The candles seem to be leading into the Forbidden Forest.
treasure must be nearby. I suppose a bit like a bit of treasure hunting suits me. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Only a Ravenclaw would travel this far in pursuit of knowledge. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say, Inframuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. It's Latin. As you can imagine, I never paid <coughs> much attention in school. Shall we? Yeah, that's fairly evident seeing as you got killed. Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? No, that's French. Or Greek. Hmm. That is French, my friend. Lumos. Expelliarmus. Potato. Stupid one. God damn it, I keep on pressing the wrong button.
Ew. What am I living in? The colonial era? Yeah, let's just switch back to this one. Oop, wrong way. Incident. Bro, stop getting stuck. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Someone was out here studying. I guess you can call it a waterfall. It's more like a trickle. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Intramuros. Eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. Don't risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Dora's led me. I wonder how big this place is. Massive, most likely. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. I wonder if any of my spells are probably through this. Potato! Incendio! Levioso! Accio! Incendium. 
here. Incendio. I'm not going to touch those. Ugh. More to be able to float straight to me. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Akio. An untouched chest. Jackdaw wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. Incendio! Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself do this. 
I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. It's almost complete.
shield. More spiders. These can't be what the hazard of the giant. Oh shit. Imagine these have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? <laughs> <laughs> 